Welcome, beautiful people, to Reculture View, where we review all things pop culture. Hear the latest in TV and film, music, and celebrity news, cuz it's Reculture View. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Reculture View. Let me just first start off by saying I am so sorry. We had an addition and I did not come prepared. I told y'all I'd be busy and life just got in the way and caught up with me, but I'm back this edition to do another episode of Reculture View. As always, I'm your host, Moe Elise. And if you don't know what Reculture View is, we are basically reviewing culture. It's in the name. So I'm giving you the latest in TV and film, the latest in music, and the latest in celebrity news. Like, I know y'all been missing me, so I'm not going to hold you too long. Without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, first up, as always, is the latest in TV and film. First up, we have season seven of The Mad Singer premiered two weeks ago. Of course, if I had an episode out, I would have talked about it, but I didn't, so here we go. So it's been about two episodes so far, and let me just say the first episode was drama filled. One contestant even sung their head off. They had to be shielded so they can get their head back on. One of the other contestants started singing and got choked and had to start all the way over. It's just been a lot. As a film in this, the third episode hasn't come out yet, but by the time this is posted, it will. So apologies in advance. But anyway, so far, The Cake Boss has been revealed. If you don't know, The Cake Boss was a show on TLC. I, I believe his name was Duffy. And also Joe Buck has been revealed. Um, if you don't know Joe Buck, he is, well, he was a NFL, um, what's the word for it? The anchor, I guess, the commentator. He was an NFL commentator for Fox, but him and Troy Aikman just moved to ESPN. But so far, so good at this season. Next up, we have a new show called The Thing About Pam. It's starring Renee Zellweger, and it's on NBC. And this um, is a limited series, and it's actually based on a true story that was covered on NBC. NBC Dateline, where a woman named Pam killed her friend and ended up framing her husband for it, but she ended up getting caught. Um, next up in TV and film, we have Cheaper by the Dozen remake. It's on Disney+. Plus. I have not watched it, but I've seen that it has some bad reviews. And once again, like, it's hard to do a remake, especially after all these years. You know, this is their third remake. The second one was with Steve Martin, and I actually love those movies. They got bad reviews, too, but I just love those movies. And I feel like I can't say too much because I haven't seen the movie yet, but... Who knows? Once again, it's just hard doing remakes. And lastly, for TV and film, we have The Adam Project, which came out on Netflix. It's starring Ryan Reynolds. I watched the trailer, and from what I gathered from the trailer, it's um, about a boy, and he ends up meeting his future self, and they end up going on some mission that his future self is into. So uh, I will be checking that out. I might check out Cheaper by the Dozen. It just depends. But that's all I have this episode for TV and film. All right, next up is always NBA Culture View. We have music, and first and foremost, we have Lucky Day. If you don't know who Lucky Day is, he is an R&B singer. You might know his song, Over. I know that song's been going around on TikTok. But anyway, he just released his new album called Candy Drip. I listened to the album ever since it came out. I listened to like two songs at least once a day or every time I get in the car. Um, some of my favorite songs on there is God Body, NWA, Guess, Used to Be, and of course, Over. And after listening to this album, I went and told my mom, I was like, look, I have to go to a Lucky Day concert because he just puts his all into everything. Um, next up on TV and film, we have Normani. Um, you might know her from Fifth Harmony fame. She was the only African-American girl in Fifth Harmony. But anyway, she just released a new single called Fair. And I'm be honest, I would give the song like a 6 out of 10. Um, it's not better than her other singles, which have been Motivation, Wild Side with Cardi B. And um, her other one was Sam Smith, Dance with a Stranger. I kind of feel bad for her money because I feel like she's always getting the short end of a stick. Like, she's been out of Fifth Harmony for a couple years now, and she hasn't even released an album yet. And I just feel like 
whoever she signed with is doing her dirty. But hopefully this one song won't deter her and hopefully she can release music the way she wants to soon enough. Next up in music, we have Blink Blink featuring Nicki Minaj. It's by Koi Lee Ray. I hope I said her name right. Koi Lee Ray. And it's featuring Nicki Minaj. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Koi Lee Ray. But, you know, I know she's been going through some things with her dad and the media and people hating on her. But she perseveres and I can respect her for that. As far as the song is concerned, it's just like every other song, if I'm being honest. Nikki, I feel like Nikki didn't put her all into the um, feature. But at the same time, if the song isn't giving us all, then why put you all? put your all I you know I feel like she just wanted to get paid and that's what she did and last stuff for tv and film if you're in the Mississippi area listening uh more specifically the Jackson area and you into gospel like I know I am um July 2nd Maverick City Music and Kurt Franklin with special guest Jonathan McReynolds they'll be at the Brandon Amphitheater in Brandon Mississippi which is central Mississippi And I just thought that was something to include for all my listeners watching. And with that, that concludes music. And as always, y'all know I have to give you the latest in celebrity news. Now, this first one in celebrity news, it's kind of time with TV and film. But at the same time, I'm more so focusing on the person instead of the show. But anyway, enough talking. Last week, it got announced that Maury, if y'all know him from the Maury show, where you are not the father, all that, the lie detector test, paternity test, all that. It's been going on, I know, since I've been born, if not even before then. I was born in 2000, so it's been going on for a long time. Anyway, the network has canceled Maury's show. And although they say cancel, I truly believe that, you know, Maury was like, I can't do this no more. It's too much stress. So... They're going to have to figure something out because I need somebody. I need to see who is the father and who is not the father. I need to see women running when they get it wrong. I need to see men jumping for joy when they're not the father. I just need it in my life. So, Maury, I know you probably won't hear this, but if you do, come back. We need you, please. <laughs> anyway, enough of that. Next on Celebrity News, Jennifer Lopez got honored with the Icon Award at the iHeart Radio Music Awards. Um... <laughs> I was telling somebody today, I was like, the only thing Jennifer Lopez has done for me is being Selena. Um, She has some nice songs. Like, I like Get on the Floor. I like Let's Get Loud. But when I think of Jennifer Lopez, I don't necessarily see Icon. But I know I'm not necessarily her targeted audience. I know she's big in the Hispanic and Latino community. So I can't really say too much. But she accepted the war very graciously. So um, good for her, I guess. Um, next in celebrity news, Wells Fargo is saying that um, legendary talk show host Wendy Williams is incapable of handling her money. And if you don't know, lately, Wendy Williams, I think it's been like six months, six or seven months since she's actually been on her show and they ended up canceling her show. I don't know if it's because she couldn't host like she used to or if they were just going to cancel it anyway. But anyway, I find it very funny how her bank is saying that she's incapable of handling her money. When she is making videos saying herself that she is in sound body, sound mind. And she's even saying that her financial advisor is ignoring her. So I'm like, I feel like these people want to take advantage of her. I don't know exactly what's going on with Wendy. I hope she makes a full recovery. But you have regular people on the street who probably shouldn't have a bank account. Like, come on now. I just feel like Wells Fargo is doing a little too much right now. Lastly, in celebrity news, we're going to end on a high note. Famous actor Morris Chestnut, he got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame today, which of recording is Wednesday, March 23rd. Um, If you don't know Morris Chestnut, I don't know who don't, but he's been in some movies like The Best Man. He was in Boys in the Hood. You know, he got shot in Boys in the Hood. Ricky, oh, rest in peace, Ricky. Um, He was in Like Mike, The Game Plan, and many, many other shows. And I know all the ladies around the world are loving some more chestnuts. So with that, we're going to end it. And that concludes Celebrity News. It's me, Coach, you. All right. Finally, before we conclude this episode of Reculture View, as always, I have to give you my top pick. And once again, for those who forgot or for those it's their first time listening in, Top pick is where I pick my favorite moment in pop culture since the last episode. And 
There's been a lot of things since the last episode, but I wanted to kind of keep it current for you guys instead of going all the way back. I feel like that wasn't fair. So anyway, this top pick, to be honest, nobody probably will even care but me. But this just going to give you a little personal view about me. Anyway, my top pick is Matt Ryan finally got traded from the Falcons for the, and he's going to the Indianapolis Colts. You might be like, first of all, that's sports, not pop culture. I told you it was personal. Second of all, you might be like, why do I care? You don't. I care. And it's my show, so I'm going to do what I want. Anyway, um, I've been an Atlanta Falcons fan since I was like 11, between 8 and 11, I know for sure. And these past, ever since the 2016 Super Bowl, where we lost, we didn't, the Patriots made that 28 to 3 comeback, we just been downhill. And every time I tell people my team, they be like, oh, y'all, sorry. And they always give me these different excuses. And I say, look, bottom line is, we need to get Matt Ryan out of here. And it finally happened. I'm not saying we're going to turn around and be the greatest team overnight, but it's time for a serious rebuild. And I feel like knowing that the Falcons are prepared and they know that they need to get rid of Matt Ryan, it makes me happy for the future. I know some people probably fast forward this because they like, we don't care, Morgan. And you know what? You don't have to care. But that I care. And I'm very happy. And that's why it's my top pick. Anyway, enough ranting. This concludes this episode of Reculture View. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Peace.